Good morning children. Let us continue with the same lesson Swami Vivekananda. So a small recap of last video what I have taught. Narendra was born on 12th January. Do you remember? He was born on 12th January 1863 to Vishwanatha Than Bhuvaneshwari Devi in Kolkata. And they named him as Vireshwara and later they gave Narendra Datta. Okay, and his uh, guru's name was Ramakrishna Paramahamsa. Okay, okay, fine. Let's continue with new, new, new lesson. Okay, okay, fine. Sri Ramakrishna Paramahamsa became Narain's spiritual guru. Swami Vivekananda did not stop with this. He went on and on, walked miles and traveled all over the world to discover the truth. Narain was kind to all and he had sympathy for his poor and he was very courageous and he had many good qualities and he wanted to become a monk. So he was, he was a wandering monk. Wandering means moving from one place to another. Traveling alone to all places to help the needy. He often expressed his ideas on education. According to him, education should develop a complete human being. Okay, fine. And one day, he made a speech in a great hall of Columbus. Okay, in the Parliament of Religions at Chicago on 11th September 1893. He began his address with the words, Sisters and Brothers of America. Immediately, there was thunderous applause from the vast audience and it lasted for two minutes. The Swami spoke of the religion that was very vast as the sky and deep as the ocean. See, at the Parliament of the World Religious, Swami Vivekananda gave a speech and when, when he started with this, Sisters and brothers of America, immediately everybody, those who were sitting in that hall, no, they all stood up and they, they gave a thunderous applause. It was lasting for two minutes. By his speech at America, he created a niche for India on the world stage. He was referred to the cyclonic monk and orator by Divan Wright. See, the Swami Vivekananda spoke of the religion that was very vast, okay, that was like sky and the deep as the ocean. Further, he thanked all those who has assembled there. He referred to the Indians of all classes and sectors. He said about the Hindu religion that in the true sense, it embarrassed all humanity. See here, this is the picture where he stood. See, near that podium, Vekananda is standing. And see here, below picture, he is sitting along with the other religion leaders. Okay, this is, I have given the link here in between. You can go through in the YouTube. You can listen to the audio, not the video. You can listen the audio of Vekananda's speech in that great hall of Columbus. Okay, this is how it is in the YouTube. Go and click it and you can listen to it. Okay, okay, can you understand? Okay, fine. After that, no, he declared that he has been proud to belong a religious leader which has taught the world both tolerance and universal acceptance. Actually, we believe. We believe not only in universal tolerance, but also all religions are true. These words were very impressive. He observed that the divisions in society based on religion as resulted in human hatred. He felt that human society would be far more advanced when there was no divisions. Swami Vivekananda expressed his hope saying that the time for driving away this evil forces in society had come. He told them that everybody should develop a sense of brotherhood and love for each other. There was great respect and appreciation 
from the people of america okay when he was talking about the sense of brotherhood and love everybody was impressed after his return to india he spent his time preaching religious tolerance and worked for the upliftment of the poor okay let's stop with this in this lesson and continue in the next lesson regarding his teaching okay hopefully everybody understand what i have took today today i told you about the speech where he made in the great hall of columbus he addressed them immediately thunderous applause was there lasting for 2 minutes with the address with the words sisters and brothers of america and also he developed a sense of brotherhood and love for each other this is the class we have seen today and tomorrow we'll continue with the same lesson okay and today's homework is draw the picture of swami vivekananda okay as you can able to draw you draw okay and second one write a paragraph of sense of love and brotherhood you can add with some examples also okay with this and the third one name two religious leaders who helped people to understand the sense of love describe about their teachings okay do you understand this homework and write it down without fail i'll check it okay tomorrow we'll meet thank you